And hello there everyone, King Hedgehog here and welcome back to Colony Survival. Alright, so there's a lot that we need to get done today. Um, I know they've got uh, quite a few visitors and we've got a number of guards right up there that will uh, help us take care of those because today I want to continue moving things around. Now, this floor is eventually all going to be part of our production area, which means we need to get our um, olive trees up there. We need to get our... Um, wow, you grow fast. Um, we need to get our forestry upstairs. And for that, we need to get here all this nicely filled in with stone. Now, we did also in the last episode uh, close off the old part of the mine and we opened up a new one. And there is more that we need to open up here because I was right um, that the ores we are looking for now are even going to be deeper. So we currently have um, the first layer of ore that's going to be right here. Then we have the second layer of ore right here. And apparently there is a third one and a fourth one. So now instead of uh, keep digging this way where we're going to end up having the same problem again, that we're going to end up outside of our banner safe zone, uh, we will go one more layer down in this direction and then we'll just start digging further down. Now, I still do not know if there's going to be a fourth layer, uh, a fifth layer as well. The fourth one I already know. So for now we're just going to start digging down here and we're going to make our way to the next layer. Now let's quickly have a look how we are looking because that is one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to go six blocks down from this level, I think. So that is one, two, three. All right, then now we need to have a quick look here, how we are doing, if there is any ores around already. Um, let's quickly take you guys all back in here, as well as you. Let's take us up a couple of these torches, just to make sure that we can see a little bit, because it's getting rather dark. So we put one up here. Alright, so right now I don't see any ores here yet. Just need to keep an eye on it to make sure that we are staying within our banner safe zone. Alright, so until there is still our banner safe zone, um, it seems to be that there's nothing here. No ores yet, so we'll go one deeper. And let's have a look if we find anything here. And just like this, we're going to go layer by layer. There we go, there's the next one. All right, so that is in this direction. Then let's have a look, because from there we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We can go fourteen back, and then we are still at the same mining area. All right, so let me dig all of this out. All right, perfect. So that's going to give us um, quite a big space. Now I do need to make sure that I actually open up from here and then we can go all the way until this direction. How deep are we actually opening it up? Don't really remember, let's have a look. Only one, two, three, four, five, six for now. Might eventually open it even more, but let's have a look. All right, so we'll go all the way down here. Take you one more out so we are in the right spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now, another torch right up there. Just need to make sure that we have sufficient lighting. All right, so now here we go. We want construction, a digger area from here. And you can dig it out all the way until well I'm gonna say until there but since we already removed that block we can't do it all right we try it again so from here dig everything out all the way until here perfect then i need to give you the area where you can work and we'll do that right here and we will give you a crate we've got a few of them there right next to you right there perfect now i think that we already have somebody employed who will do the digging for us so he should be on his way shortly still have a couple of these and we will rotate you again in the right direction there we go 
Now, one of you actually uh, mentioned that there is a good option that the colony could have gone into siege mode, um, which means that any zombies that spawn do not have a direct option to get towards our banner, but um, it looks like that problem was uh, not there for us, which is a good thing. I prefer to not have any problems and have our colony go into siege. All right, so this is done. I think he's going to be our digger. You the digger? Well, it's the only thing we have down here. Perfect. Look at him. So, from where are you starting? Um, can I just remove you? Thank you. You're working from this side? Yes, you are. Nice, and you're opening up some nice ores, which is great. Because that's what we're going to be putting our miners down. But we'll do that in a moment's time. Then, um, I'm going to go to here. And from this point... Oh, these ores take a long time to dig in. You must be gold, right? Don't let go of the button too early, because then you can do it all over again. There. Alright, so now let's have a look. Is this gold? It is gold. Gold ore. Don't lose it. Well, we shall try to remember that. And then we're going to go and do the same thing here. Uh, what did I pick up there? Coal. And gold. Coal and gold. Alright, good to remember. Now let's pick this one up as well, and let's continue digging our way down towards the next level of ores. Which should be, I think it's another seven layers down. So this is ground. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, and that'll be seven. Hopefully we're going to find it right there. It doesn't look like, so what it did. Oh well. Let's have a look what we get out of that. Move you, move you, move you. Um, we'll keep some of the arrows on us. Alright, now I think that this is all... Yeah, that's still all within our banner safe zone. We are absolutely good here. Let's get ourselves uh, a nice torch up here. Take a couple of blocks out from this side. This two, this three, four, five, and six. Beautiful. Now I'm curious what this is, so we'll go one deeper. Is that what we're looking for? Style Peter. All right. Okay, so that is for this direction. Now we did go one further to the right, which is kind of okay, as long as we're sticking within our banner safe zone. And now we can go quite a few in this direction it is taking really really long though to get all of that out but sure and then we take the block out here so we can set the next digger area right here and right from out here perfect right so i'll do these ones by hand just so i have a space to put the block down for our uh, crate as well as for the digger and now we let's set up another digging area Construction, digger area, you can do it from right here until all the way up here, somewhere. If I could see, that would be great. Which I cannot, so we'll just do it again. Alright, put you down here, and we try it again. From down here. Until up there, exactly. Now you are going to go and face this direction there and we're going to give you your crate right behind you. All right, so when he is done digging up the level above us, he will automatically be coming right down here. Um, light brown quarter block, dark brown quarter blocks. All right, I didn't know we had so many, but that's okay. All right, so you go in that direction. One, two. I hope you're going to be enough. We'll probably have one short. No, we have a few short. That's okay. 
Um, we'll make a few more there. All right. So here now we have a level to go down and to go down. Um, he is supposed to be here to dig on that. Is that now not possible because it is nighttime? Or is that not possible? No, it's nighttime. All right. So on also here, we still need to set up our miners because we don't have any yet. Let's help him out a little bit just to make sure that he has a path. Just making sure he's not going to complain about that, but I don't think that will be an issue. Oh, look at that. He's already doing a nice job clearing all of this out. And there is a couple of ores. There's not too much, actually, that he's finding out here. But let's see. I mean, we can always choose to go even one level deeper if needed because i can see there's some more ores down here as well so we can always add the extra level down and it's better to have one layer than two layers all right hmm what's up everybody is nice and vast asleep that's the way we like it all right so with them now working on that and the digger will automatically move on he is already continuing to put in the floor here which is also a good thing then the next thing that we need to do is we need to start looking at our farms now the barley farms and the wheat farms they're actually doing quite okay i do want to have a look though that we set up the next upstairs area as well because we want to get the rest of the farms out here so we've got a little bit of a wheat farm here uh, we have all of this but it's all a rough mix match of basically everything so what i want to do is on this level I want to have all the open growing stuff on this side and then we want to have the rest of the animals etc all nicely here lined up on this side so we're going to have the bees and more bees and some more chickens and then some more chickens and then maybe we have some more chickens and then let's have a look at everything else that we are gonna get um, I think we're done with this crate because this is all been nicely filled in with dirt except for the last three blocks which he just did and now he is unemployed which is okay because he can now continue or is he gonna go here to pick up more because i think he's going to be done with his job do we have more here i didn't think so no it doesn't look like nope that's just all the normal field all right so he will go down into the mines now and he will start digging that out which is great all right um, you guys are all working away on here so yeah i want to get the rest of the farming area on this side so that is the first thing i'm going to be setting up and that means um another roof so to say we need more stone to be placed and for that i need to start getting this part out and i need to start opening this up now before i can do that i need to get these farms also out of the way so there's going to be a little bit of a pickle right there um which means this one is the wheat farm right yeah it is all right so let's go upstairs let's assign a new wheat farm so we can remove the one down here and then we will have to reorganize some of that afterwards um but for now i'll just drop down a new wheat farm right about here right so food wheat farm yes um Then we assign you from here until the max here until there and let's get ourselves another one exactly until there now we're going to do the same with yeah we remove you and we want now some barley farmers now I need two fields of that, at least, ideally three, because three barley far fields is going to allow me, um, can I put you until here? That's going to put me on 84. I miss three dirt blocks. Can do. All right, there we go. So we've got the three dirt blocks right here, which is good. Um, now do i have more space here yeah i can so i'll drag another one right up here right until there all right so that's going to give me more than enough 
Which means I can now remove the wheat farmers and the barley farmers from downstairs. And they can start moving up and whatever they have, um, I'll do the harvesting for them. Okay, guys. Um, so, yes, I want to remove this. I want to remove you as well as you and you. Thank you very much. Please pick up your tools and move upstairs. You can put a new farm right there. And then I will do all the harvesting right here. I mean, it's not too much anyways. All right, so that is all of it that is growable gone, at least for us. Um, so the next stage is going to be uh, get another digger area set up. And I want to dig one level down here as well. So we're going to go for construction, digger area. Select it from right here. Now, and I'm going to go quite far, actually, um, because I want to remove all of this, but it is going to be too large. All right, so right until here, which is okay. And then we will put you right with your nose in front. There you go. Now, we'll give you a crate right there. And then you can continue with the digging here. Um, it'll be two blocks, so they'll have a little bit of a walk to go. And then the next stage is going to be clearing up this area. And for that, we need these trees to go. Then, um, I think you already started digging. Yeah, it's right from here. Look at that. Nice. Perfect. So with all of that gone in a minute, that will be very good. Um, I will do a little bit of removing already on this side. I can help him out a little bit. There we go. And now I need to get some more stone. Um, there we go. Because that's the thing. I want to start getting this wall nice and up with stone. Just to make sure that we have everything nice and strong as we need to. Not that the zombies here do any block damage. Unlike in the seven days to die, they do not do any block damage here. get this nice and in perfect um, but it's just more for both aesthetics as well as for my own um, conscious mind my brain likes to have um, solid foundations around oh not there right here don't really care for your berry at the moment let's take this out your berry bush will be moved in not too much time all right so look at that and then now i can start pulling this one out here and we can start connecting that to here and eventually you're gonna go up to this level there exactly perfect now I will fill this in if I can and have enough stone for it which I don't but now I do all right there we go now again I do want some windows in here eventually maybe I'm not too sure yet because I do want to set up very clear construction areas and work areas. So we're going to have multiple um, grinders, we're going to have multiple bakers, um, but all of that, I want to have them have their specific section, unlike we've got everything plugged in in there, which for now makes sense, but not for in the long run. Um, then, since we are now here and having this hole, um, this is going to be the first pillar. All right, perfect. So then let's get ourselves a different construction area. Construction, and now I want a builder area with stone of bricks. And I want you to start off, I guess, here. From there. And you need to be building until here, right? Um. Alright, so that did not work the way I wanted to. From there. Alright, we'll do it this way. We'll start off here. And we'll go all the way down here and we'll put it right here in the corner. Right until there. Perfect. So now we have a building site on top of a digger site. I need to give a new construction job to this bloke here, but 
Can do, can do. Um, where can he stand safely? Um, well, define safe. But I think he can be right here and we'll give him a crate right about there. Give you this one right here. So you can walk here, stand here, build whatever you need to build. And right down there we have ourselves the pillar. And that is going to be a nice solid foundation with uh, a half floating ceiling. Ouch, I hurt myself once again. Soon I'm going to have to start eating. Which is okay, we've got 146 meals, so we are kind of okay. Now, you guys were absolutely right with um, some of the comments about getting the efficiency out of our food production. Because if you look in here, um, we have 102 bread, we've got 146 berry meals, but nobody is focusing on making the bread meals. Which is kind of silly, but for that I need an additional baker, and I put them in two different groups. One of them is going to be focusing on bread, and the other one is going to be focusing on berry meals. But all that's for later, once we are actually done setting all of this up. Because I really want to start uh, having things nicely organized. Alright, now while we are here, let me do a little bit more harvesting. I mean, if it fully grows before we pull it out, I might as well harvest it. Or even if it's nearly grown, there you go. So all of this back out of my inventory. Um, I will keep a couple of the torches flying around. It's maybe time we put one here as well as on this side. And we'll do one here. Just making sure that we have enough light. And this sand patch has annoyed me for long enough now. And instead of giving it to them to do, I'll just do it manually this time. And then we finally are going to be able to set up some of our proper working areas. And as well as getting ourselves some proper living quarters for them. Because I really want to give them kind of like a little bit of a bigger house than what they're housed in at the moment. Then also I want to have like three beds and three bakers um, so they have a little sleeping room. Uh, maybe they get their own bedrooms, maybe not. I'm not sure about that yet. Um, this guy here though, I think I'm going to be moving him um, to maybe here the entrance. I'm not sure yet. Which kind of would make sense though. But on the other side also, this is where I think eventually I'm going to be placing more guards. To have a nice line of guards here as well as on that side. That by the time they do start to get through here, if we don't have any uh, line of guards already here taking care of all of them, that we can start expanding here. So this is all basically built future proofing already that uh, if there is any bad news coming for us that we are well prepared and can just assign more colonists to be on guard duty all right so he is on his way to continue digging at least i hope yep there he is all right so he is removing all these blocks i just hope he's not going to be removing these ones because then this will collapse so maybe i should put in a little bit of additional support here just to make sure that if he pulls this out that this doesn't collapse but it just stays on these ones Perfect. All right, now he does the rest of the digging out here. Do we have our colonist up there? We do not. Do we have available beds? I only have one. All right, so let's recruit one person who will now be the builder for right up there. Here he is. And he's already going to go and make his way up there, which is very good. Now, finally, we can have a look here. So we have the Mason's workbench. The lanterns is still work in progress. Luxury meals don't even get me started. Um, a wax table, absolutely. Military bags, nice. Next one. Um, for that, we need military science bags, which we don't have yet. The gunsmith shop, sweet. We need lead and military science bags, yes. Um, I still think, though, that there is a couple of things that we're missing. Um, let's have a look at how our diggers are doing down here because I don't really want to start adding more production areas until we've got everything else sorted. So let's pick you up. Let's put you down here. There you go. Um, you seem to be done here. Now I only see some gold and I don't know what this is. But we'll put a miner on it. 
Um, let me just drop some crates already. So I need you here. And let's get... Yeah, you go here and you go here. So I have one miner here, one miner here, one there. And we'll put another crate right down there. Perfect. All right, so somebody is digging stuff out here, which is good. Um, that is ore number one. Um, let's add one here. All right, so there's again one, two, two different ores here. What, is it break time already or what you gonna do? Nobody is working here yet. All right, so I need one crate. I think right here, crates, the other crates, these ones, yes. Um, let's get a lantern here in the corner, which is going to cover this one and that one. And then let's add just a crate right next to it. All right, so I really need to have a look that we get additional beds put down. Now, do I have space for more beds? Yes, plenty. Do I have more beds? Five. Um, and now we have ten more beds. All right, so that is one, two, three, four, and five. Leave you a block in between. And there we go. Now, can I fit one more? Mm, no. No can do. But at least that's going to give us a, a number of additional people here. So I can assign a couple more miners so we can start getting the rest of the resources. So we want miners. And we want one here, one here, one here and one there. I don't know exactly what everything is, but I believe we've got all four of them covered on this layer. Then right here, I want one right here and here. And then we want one right there. As well as right here and we'll give you a lantern right there so you can see a little bit now does that cover all of them though because i think there's only two ores here unless i'm very much mistaken all right so you are opening up now i only see two more ores here which is this one not sure what it is it looks like salt um, this one's gonna get removed let's take it out what are you, sir? Elena Led. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to need a number of those. Um, you can get out of my inventory, asking you, you and you. Um, let's get ourselves all of the crates. That's okay. And then we can assign some more jobs. Now, let's get you down here and another one down there. You're not floating. No, you're nicely on the wall, just like we need it. All right, so I'm going to be putting one crate down here, which is good for two miners and there's no good way of doing this one here and let's add one here yes yes all right so i need to wait for him to finish hopefully he doesn't remove my crates if he does so be it um i can remove this crate now all right so that is now eight eight miners one two three four Ah, yes, and also up here, and I only have 10 more beds, so I might need to add a few more beds, which is okay, we can do, I need to go one, two, three deep per level, all right, so you go on here, and there, and another one, two, and three deep, that's going to be good for six. Um, that makes it ten. Ten additional beds that we can do. All right, so we add more stuff here. We go for another construction. I want a digger area, and I want it from here. Mm -hmm. Until all the way up here. All right, now I'm going to be putting you right there, and we'll give you a crate right behind it there. And then we need to put the floor in, just like we did in here. And then we can add 10 additional beds. Talking about 10 additional beds, I can add one more bed. Right here. And one more down here. Not sure how that works, but I'll take this one away. And then that is how it works. Perfect. So now I have 12 more. 
And with the beds, I think we have more than enough food. Let's have a look here at our colony points because we do have quite a lot of those. Um, the point capacity is going to cost us a full 6,000. Or I can upgrade you. Yes. All right, so let's upgrade the builder area size and also upgrade the point efficiency. There, perfect. Yeah, you guys all coming here. I shall wait for the morning time. And then we're going to be hiring ourselves eight more. Are you done down here, actually? Um, it looks like you're done. You are. Perfect. So, I need miners. Um, why did I give you... Ah, you were the block from him. That is okay. All right, so we put one more here. And one more here and then i take one more right about there and there okay so that is 12 of them i think that should cover all of it um we might go in order to go further down let me open this a little bit up by hand because it is otherwise going to really annoy me that i'm going to be scraping my scalp on it there we go and then we might actually go one back to this direction and on this side here we might actually go down again so we'll do the same thing as we did before here we wait one more block just to make sure that they have that little bit of a walk around here and we're not going to get lost now i don't know if there's a layer number five mambo number five um, let's get ourselves some torches. We still have 16. Right, you up there, just so we can see a little bit. And where are we now? This is one, two, three. All right, let's have a look here if we still find any new ores. Because if not, then we will be having a look. One more further down. I don't see any. I'll pop you down here. All right, so nothing here so far. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say this is it. This is the end. Um, now, question: Do I? Am I going to fill it all in again? No, I don't. Is it still in my banner save zone? No, it is not either. All right, so it is a good thing that we didn't. Um, no, I don't want that. I want to just plug this up. There, we never open this. We pretend it doesn't exist. Exactly. Anybody who thinks that that was something there, you are absolutely mistaken. There's nothing there. We never open this up. There. See, that's just a solid brick wall. Nothing happened there. Nobody ever st set foot down there, nor thought that they would be able to do anything. All right, so these guys are going back to work, which means we're going to recruit to fill all jobs. Bang, that hit into our food count. Which is okay. Um, uh, there we go. Look at that. So we are doing fairly well up here. I think he is done putting the floor in. So I can remove this one. Yep. Looks like we are all done here. Look at all my miners going to work. Nice. We're doing good on that area. Alright. So this one is um, doing pretty well as well. Uh, I would like to set uh, the next builder job. Um, could you not? I mean, I kind of put this down already for you. Let me help you out a little bit. There. Yeah, we'll harvest this.
Oh, this is going so fast, especially after doing all the mining there. Um, dude, could you not? As in, he's taking it out with the same speed as that I was putting it in. Alright, here we go. We put it just back like that. Pretend that never happened. Before we have any of those idiots who think that they can do anything else. Right, remove all of you. And I will remove the area. Thank you very much. You can go and do something else now. Bye bye, Apple Pie. Exactly. Um, talking about doing something else. Got a new job for you. So let's get ourselves a new builder area. Construction builder area. Absolutely. You're going to take all the stone that I've been digging out right at the bottom. And you're going to be putting that right back in here. Look at you. Now, you want to have a place right here, so you can do that right there. Now, see? You're just done. You can come back and, uh, and fill that in with all the brick in the world. Now, you are building away. I wouldn't say happily building away, because you're taking your sweet time. It's a good thing we can have that magically floating floor here, but let me uh, extend these ones just to give it the idea that it is connected to anything. There, and we take you out. Thank you. Perfect. So he's building on that side. This one's building on this side. Look at that. And eventually, we're going to have our big hall here. And we're going to be able to set up a nice marketplace and make it all look nice and fancy. But that's all uh, going to be for the next ones. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys right back here for more Colony Survival.